The 1955 double dye Lincoln scent stands out as one of the most dramatic and highly sought after double dye varieties in United States coinage. Its story is steeped in the circumstances of its time, believed to have occurred during a period of severe scent shortages at the Philadelphia Mint. To meet the demand, the Mint resorted to extreme measures, including operating 12-hour days. Although an estimated 24,000 examples were coined, the exact number remains uncertain. Surviving examples are scarce in mint state, with fully red gems being exceptionally rare. The overall poor quality of 1955 P-Cents and the coin hobby's slow recognition of this variety's desirability contributed to the lack of high-grade survivors initially. It wasn't until around 1960 that the variety's value began to be widely recognized, leading to a surge in demand. Uh, this particular brown specimen is graded Mint State 62 by NGC and fetched a staggering $20,400 at auction. Its sale price reflects both its rarity and the significant interest it commands among collectors of United States coinage varieties. During an economic recession in 1949, the Denver Mint's production of quarter dollars significantly decreased. While the 1949D Washington quarter is not considered rare in Mint State, the number of certified coins drops considerably above MS-66. Compared to their, their Philadelphia counterparts, 1949D quarters, though well-made, appear to be more susceptible to contact marks. Conditions were so challenging that year that the San Francisco Mint did not produce any quarters at all. The only notable variety for the 1949D Washington quarter is a controversial one. While it is available in mint state, coins at the MS-68 level are exceedingly rare. This MS-68 specimen is a true standout, displaying iridescent patterns of rose, emerald green, and lavender colors that highlight its technically perfect surfaces. The striking details are full throughout, adding to its visual appeal and rarity. This exceptional coin fetched an impressive $17,255.75 at auction, a testament to its quality and desirability among collectors of Washington Quarters. The 1943 Washington Quarter with a double die obverse is a fascinating piece, graded AU53 by PCGS. Among the several double die varieties for the 1943 Washington Quarter, FS103 is the most dramatically doubled, and it's the variety listed in the guidebook. This particular example is nearly uncirculated, with strong detail throughout. However, slight friction over the devices has determined the AU53 designation. The coin's untoned and satiny appearance, coupled with few marks, enhances its overall appeal. This remarkable coin was sold for $3,360, a testament to its rarity and desirability among collectors of Washington quarters. Here we have a 1944 steel scent struck on a zinc-coated steel planchette, a fascinating error coin graded as environmentally damaged by PCGS and assigned VF details, which stands for very fine. While most collectors and many non-collectors are familiar with the famous 1943 bronze scent errors, struck on leftover blanks from the previous year's coinage, the 1944 steel scent errors are less well-known but equally important. They occurred in a similar manner, struck on leftover steel blanks from the 1943 coinage. Like their 1943 counterparts, the 1944 steel scents are known from all three operating mints during World War II with a total estimated population of less than 40 coins from all three mints. Despite being described as having environmental damage by PCGS, this piece's typical corroded or rusted appearance, common to circulated 1943 steel scents, does not diminish its importance. This significant scent was sold for $13,200, highlighting its rarity and the value it holds among collectors of era coins and World War II era coinage. 1969S double die obverse scent is a numismatic gem, ranked first among the top 100 U.S. modern coins. Graded AU55 by PCGS and proven by CC, this variety is one of the most dramatic double dies in American numismatics, rivaling the famous 1955 DDO Lincoln scent. What sets this coin apart is its strong separation between all the letters and digits on the obverse, most notably on Liberty and In God We Trust with the date also displaying bold doubling. This lightly circulated specimen is a testament to its rarity and desirability among collectors. 
This remarkable coin was sold for $20,400 at Heritage Auctions, highlighting its status as a highly sought-after and valuable piece in the world of modern U.S. coinage.